When you call 911, it usually means you need help and you need it fast. But tonight there are serious doubts about whether Metro Vancouver's 911 system is even capable of handling a major public emergency. As Scott Roberts reports, we've just learned hundreds of people never even got through when they called 911 during a recent windstorm. When the worst windstorm in years hit Metro Vancouver in August. When trees started landing on homes and cars, when this woman was crushed by a falling branch and left in a coma. New revelations that hundreds of 911 calls never got through. We had the single greatest surge in 911 mass calling that we've ever experienced. The organization responsible for emergency communications says four in ten calls were never connected to a 911 center. Some got a recorded message. Others simply met with busy signals. That's unacceptable and uh, it needs to uh, get the attention of the government. It's all raising serious questions about capacity in the event of a bigger disaster like an earthquake. At the height of the windstorm, 600 calls were placed in one hour, six times the normal volume. Ecom scrambling to get every staff member it could in place. What we want to make sure is that that review is done to ensure that calls are answered. Those ones that people have emergencies, um, you know, legitimate emergencies, get there. Part of the problem, a lot of people were phoning because their power was out or they noticed a downed tree, but that meant people with real injuries and real emergencies may not have been able to get through. The 911 systems are designed to handle day-to-day -day individual emergencies. They are not designed to manage thousands of calls all coming at the same time. The challenge now, how to better respond next time, Ecom currently studying that. The issue, it's hard to predict when the next time is. And Scott is live at Ecom and East Van tonight. So Scott, how are they gonna fix this? Well, it's no easy fix, Mike. The people taking calls here at Ecom, of course, can't triage them before they actually pick them up. They're not mind readers, and so they can't tell which ones are real emergencies and which ones aren't. So what they're hoping happens next time is that the calls really are diminished, the volumes diminished, the people only call in the case of real emergencies, and in the case of that windstorm, they did take to social media to try to remind people of that. Mike. Scott Roberts, live tonight. Thanks.